Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oops. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to you with a review of my Louis Vuitton preset bag. And this is a birthday gift for me that I purchased last year in Paris. And I had this since September of 2019, so it's about 10 months now. And I thought since I had used this quite a lot, uh, it is time to give you guys a thorough review. And I hope that I can help you guys if you guys are in the market and considering on purchasing this one. First of all, I just wanted to give a little bit of a... Um, overview on what the handbag looks like so just just fyi it kind of looks small on the camera but in person it is not that small and so for measurement i just want to give it to you guys really quick so the measurement on this is about 9.84 in length 6.69 inches from here to here that's the height and for the width it's 3.74 on the width and this comes with two pattern and this is the Demir Eben and it also comes with the white one and that is the Demir Azure and this is currently retail for $1,790 that's USD and um, this comes with a gold hardware a removable tassel and S lock so you just have to press this here and it opens into a beautiful red microfiber lining and inside let me just remove this one it comes with the bag comes with a removable not adjustable strap and inside it has just a one large compartment with a slip packet and that's where I usually keep my authenticity card and this is also my SA's um, business card which I keep it in here um, and you just push it in to lock so and it has a kind of like a half moon shape top handle and it's a gold hardware and here's the side and on the back and it does not have a outside pocket out here and this is where the d-ring where you would hook the removable strap so for the removable strap you just clip here and basically this is not an adjustable strap and it's about 22 inches so from here to here that's about 22 inches um, drop what I love about this bag is first its versatility um, you can wear this bag with um, many different ways you can wear it as a crossbody which is my favorite and it just sit um, just below the hip area you can wear it as a shoulder bag however it is a little long too long as a shoulder bag and also you can wear it as a tap handle or on the crook of your arm um, you can dress it up or you can dress it down this is for me a more of a casual bag like I said I had a ton of use of this bag this is sort of like my weekend bag and it's quite um, spacious and it can fit all of my daily necessities and when I store this bag I just basically remove the strap and I would just kind of kind of roll it like this and I would just leave it inside the bag and I stuff it with some of um, a stuffer or organizer and I do not keep this inside its box and I just kind of just leave it um, in my closet um, for storage. So the con that I have with this bag is that if you 
set it like say for example you're out um, you know to dinner or lunch or brunch and you set it down it's sort of like step forward I don't know if you can kind of see it but it's stepping forward right now and usually it would just like fall so when you guys are storing this and um, if it falls and you don't you're not paying attention too much of it the tassel tends to however you know like when it falls and say it falls like in a really really bad spot and say it falls like this and this goes like that um you lose the formation or the structure of the tassel and i i don't know if you can see it on my camera here but as you can see there is one in here like this one it's totally out of uh, place and um, so that kind of bothered me a little bit so sometimes I do tend to just remove the strap and put it inside the bag um, so keep that in mind um, this is removable so you could definitely do that um, if you're super casual say for example you are wearing a um, like a gym outfit or something you could definitely remove this strap so it's not um, it's not too fancy I would say but um, anyway other than that I love 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 this bag so let's talk about wear and tear one thing that I love about the Demir event is that I think this is such a carefree bag spilled a bunch of water and it's just a, a very um, I freak out a little bit just for a second but then I um, you know like I just didn't worry about it too much because it was just a super easy clean with a cloth and I just, just dried it and um, over time, I noticed that the bag felt a little bit more like softer now. It's not as stiff, which I love. And the top handle, I don't have to worry about darkening or anything with this. The only thing that, um, this is sort of semi-stiff, I would say. Um, and um, yeah, you just, you know, you can't really like move it. So that's that. And when it comes to scratches, like I said, I do remove the... Um, strap quite a lot especially when I store it and I don't see any scratches on the gold hardware none on here and on here to be honest there is scratch inside on this part right here just because when um, when you press it down and sometimes you miss that little hole it'll scratch the surface out here but it's it's a handbag you know it, it's gonna happen especially when you are opening and closing this bag so I highly recommend to always always keep this in lock because if you just leave it open like if you're on the go and you just leave it open as you're moving and walking as you can see it's going to hit that metal part and you can definitely scratch it but um, if it's locked, I don't see any scratch on the exposed metal part, only on the, um, on the inside up here, where, which you can't see it if the bag is closed. I guess the only con that I can tell you is that the um, scratch is on the hardware. Other than that, this is a all year bag. I can use it all year round and it's just a really pretty bag. And like I said, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. If you are wearing more of a sort of more a dressy, you can remove the strap and you can just hold it um, like this. There is a Louis Vuitton. The Felice or Felice, I don't know how you say it, it's a pochette and it comes with a gold um, strap. I think that that would be super, super cute to uh, use as an alternative and um, clip it on this side and on this side. Um, and it just makes it more of a dressy bag. My daughter did purchase that purse and it should be here sometime this week. So I will try to do a little bit of experiment and show it to you guys. And also make sure to follow my Instagram. I will be putting some photos on um, on my Instagram and that way you guys can see it. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what fits on um, my bag. Okay, so what fits in my bag? So let's, um, so I usually put my cell phone. Um, this is a iPhone XX, um, the 10 XX Max. 
and I usually put it on this little slip packet right here and it sits perfectly in there and I also have my zippy my Louis Vuitton zippy wallet and it has all of my cards and I will just set it right there uh, right here and I have my next is my Louis Vuitton key uh, six key holder and I will just set it right here and next is my um, um, Apple um, AirPods, and this is a this is actually just a replica. Um, I love this one, and I found this on um, Amazon. I would definitely link everything down in the description box. And I have a my Nars lipstick, and this one is the just what I needed. And I would, I usually put that up, like sitting up um, or standing up. And I also have another lipstick, and this is another NARS. Also, um, I'm gonna set it right here. And I have my MAC Compact Powder. I'm gonna set it there. And. Sorry guys, I'm kind of using one hand in here and this is just a hand lotion. This I got this from um, Bad and Body Works and this is this strawberry uh, pound cake with shea butter hand cream. It's set right there. And I also have my mask. Um, actually, we're going to leave the mask out for a little bit because that would be my last one. And here is my hand sanitizer, and I'm going to set it right there. And I cannot go anywhere without a sunglasses, and this is just a Quay sunglasses, and it is a, um, I think this is the hand side. This, it's magnetic. Closure. So I usually just set this on top here. Let's see, wait a minute. Um, and I also have my Louis Vuitton key clay and there's, this is basically my catch-all. Um, I have like coins in here, some cash. That's that. And my mask. So we're going to sew. If you look at it, it looks super full, but it's actually, um, there's more space in there. Like right here, I could definitely put more in here if I want to, but um, I don't like overstuffing my purse. And so you just close it here and there's the bag. So um, there's definitely more space on the bottom here. I just didn't do play well with the Tetris. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, definitely there's, you know, like more room in there. So that's that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to add about this bag that I love is that this bag is not very heavy. It's super light right now. It is packed with all of my necessities and it's still super light. Um, like I said, I love this bag. This is basically my casual bag and um, highly, highly recommend. And I will try to insert some mod shots when I can, um, if I have time, but definitely, um, yes, I definitely highly, highly recommend this bag. If you guys are thinking about getting this bag, get it because this is such a versatile, you get your money's worth. Um, I don't think it's, it is expensive, it is pricey, but for what you're paying for and for what you're getting, I think it is worth the money. And um, definitely it will last you a long time and you are definitely gonna get a lot of wear of this bag. And it's not going to be giving you a whole lot of grief because it is a carefree bag. And um, yeah, I hope that my video is helpful and don't forget to click the subscribe button and I am still new to YouTube and I'm um, 
still you know trying to grow my channel and i hope that this review is helpful and if you have any recommendations um if i had missed anything um yeah leave, leave some comment down below and um i will see you on my next one thank you guys so much for watching bye